In this quick video, we'll look at how you can make vertical text in Affinity programs. You can start with text like this and make it look like this. So I'm here in Affinity Photo, but this information will apply to any of the Affinity programs. And what we want to do is make vertical text. Now, one way you can make vertical text is to hit enter after every single letter. So for example, I have this word here. I could place my cursor after the R, hit enter after the E, hit enter, and just keep going down that way. Now this works for some cases, but I prefer something that's a little less work and also doesn't destroy our word. Now the way to make vertical text is a bit of a hack right now. Currently there isn't some button you just click to make text vertical, but the method is pretty simple. So let's check out how it works. And the main thing we're going to use is the frame text tool. So if I go over to my toolbar here, you may see artistic text. I'll right click on that. I'm going to select the frame text tool. So I'll click this and I'll drag on my canvas and I'll let go. Now the frame text tool creates an area where I can put my text. So I'll start typing and you can see the text is quite small. With my frame text selected, I can change the size up here, drag it down. Now the key to this technique is actually to reduce the size of our frame and get the text to wrap around. So I'll click this dot on the side here and I'll drag it left. And you can see the text starts wrapping. And if I go far enough, all the letters have wrapped downwards. And now we have vertical text. Now this I appears here and this indicates whether you see the text outside of your frame. So right now we do. If I click on it, we can hide the text that goes outside of our frame. We don't really want that effect. I'll click this so we can see it. I do prefer to resize my frame just so it's all visible. So I'll drag it down this way. Now with the text here, we can do further alignments. I can click align center up here and my words will be centered. We can also select different fonts. So up here, I'll click my font drop down. Now it's important to note that the fonts might wrap differently. So if I select this one, bangers here, you can see the E and the S don't wrap around anymore. So I'll have to go in, make the box smaller again, and now they wrap correctly. So you will have to keep an eye on that if you change the font. Now the corners will control our frame here, but this control down here on the bottom right is unique. If we click this one, we can resize our whole text here like this. So this is an easy way of resizing things quickly. Now one of the downsides of this approach is that the spacing controls don't really work vertically. So to show you what I mean, if I select my horizontal text here, let me open up the text tab. I'll select window, text, and I'll choose character. So with my text selected, I can change the tracking. So if I click and drag over here, you can see the spacing changes. However, if I go to my vertical text, adjusting the tracking doesn't do anything. However, we can kind of fake the spacing effect using the scaling options. Here we have horizontal and vertical scaling. So I can scale my text horizontally and I'll scale it vertically. I'll type in the same number. So here you can see we changed the spacing there, but it's a little more cumbersome than how it works when we do it horizontally. Other things like layer effects still work exactly the same. If I want, I could click FX. I could add an outline to my text. I could add an outer shadow. So things like that still work perfectly well. Currently, this is the best way to make vertical text that I know of in Affinity programs. Maybe at some point in the future, we'll get some more sophisticated layout tools. If there's anything you'd like to see covered in a video, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.